Hi everyone, this is Lori from More Art from the Heart. I want to share with you today some of the projects that I'm working on for a Christmas bazaar that I'm doing. I've been collecting from thrift stores and Joann's and Michael's and other places some bird houses that I'm going to decorate and sell in my booth at the bazaar. Here you see a picture of some of the other things that I found. I found some stars to alter and decorate some little chests and uh, containers there at the back. So to get started, uh, the first ones I'm doing here are the pink series. I've tried to pick individually different types of birdhouses, but the pink ones kind of all coordinate, so I'm going to actually sell them individually, but this way someone could buy more than one if they wanted to um, and be able to have them all coordinated. I've covered them all in a Tim Holtz uh, paper pack, vintage shabby, this, that stack of paper that had the pinks and the blues and the real soft colors in it. Um, I first painted all the edges that were going to not be able to be papered like the underside of the eave here, the top little round knot at the top of that one around the edge of the star anywhere that I wasn't going to be papering I made sure it was painted white when I cut the paper I also then inked all the edges uh, I like the uh, soft brown tones to kind of give it a shadowed effect to also give it a finished effect so before I put all the papers on that's what I've done with them a lot of the laces and the trims that you see here are um, from Joann's Fabrics or Walmart or my stash. And some of the trims are actually some that I have received from some of the wonderful people here on YouTube. The uh, trim there at the top. Now when I used my Martha Stewart punch and actually cut two pieces, punched out two pieces, and it's glued them at the very top edges of them and then folded it down over the eave of the uh, little roof there and then glued that down. I thought that would give it a cute little touch at the top there. I love this ruffled lace that I have at the bottom of the uh, pink ones. I think that's really gave it such a sweet soft look to them. And the little church here at the top there the steeple was kind of odd shaped, a little difficult to actually cover in paper. So I pulled out my stickles and I stippled it in the white ice and the silver at the top there. I also used the stickle um, in the uh, openings, the, the bird holes, to give that a finished look. All the little perches that come out were also painted white and then stickled wanted everything to shine really nicely. The um, eaves were were fun to do with all the laces and trims on them. If I, to cover the um, corners and edges along the sides there, I either used a cardstock that coordinated with the paper pack or I would cover it with trim, um, some of the lace trim like this one here, you can see a little of the lace trim. I had a lot of the little silk roses, the little tight ones, in a stash from a while back. And I pulled those out to use those. And I just actually put stickles right over the edges of the rose to kind of give it a, another look and give it a shine. This one was fun to do. The roof line, I did the pink, gray, pink, gray. And then here's the church again. Had one of the um, cardstock paper packs that have the glitter paper. And that's what I used for the roof on this one. That was cute. It has two little bird holes. This one has kind of a, no, it kind of looks like a little barn type shape on the front of it there. I like that each one of them was individually um, a little different, a little unique. This is the blue stack, the blue ones, sorry, 
the blue series of birdhouses. I've given them kind of a Christmas look. I picked a, a package of the pla hard plastic and they've got glitter on them, snowflakes, and actually glued those onto the back. I've glued some snowflakes there on the front that I've stickled in there. Just used regular lace and uh, pearls around the bottom there. Love the ones with the hearts shape openings in them. I think that's, that's cute. You can see there I've used the Martha Stewart punch again to cover the eaves on that one. And there you can see how I've I used my 3-in-1 glue to actually glue the um, plastic snowflake onto the back. Held it on really nicely. Then again, there's, there's a two-story one. The paper pack had um, one page that had what you see there on the roofs, the stripes and the patterns. So that's not layered, that's actually a piece of paper. This here is a birdhouse that I made for a special friend, Trish of A Little Shabby Chic. I know that she likes making and collecting birdhouses, so I made this one especially for her to send to her as a thank you to add to her collection. I've taken the, it didn't have a chimney on it, I've actually added that. I took kind of a piece of chipboard, cut, it's actually a triangle shape and, and cut it at an angle and covered it in the paper and then used one of the rosette um, laces that, you, that it has kind of a rosette flower on it and cut that apart and actually kind of stuffed it and glued it down into the chimney opening and then use some pearl sprays coming up out of that. And again, my Martha Stewart punch to add some accents to the roof line. These were really fun to do. I'm hoping that people are going to enjoy them as much as I did. They're all about, I'd say, five to six inches tall. And here they are here. Thank you so much for sharing your time and checking out my video. Have a wonderful day. Smiles and hugs from Lori. Bye.